Coral Ridge tour. And, you know, Megan, we had a chance to actually listen to you recently at another event that Danella put on, and you did a great job there. And, in fact, you got first place at that event. So for those that may not know about Megan Nolan, you could say better than I can. In your words, one minute or less, what are the cliff notes for someone that might be new to your work? Please, Megan Nolan. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful to be here with all of you. So the Cliff Notes version, I am taking a stand for all of you and all leaders everywhere, because I believe that as someone who is here this weekend and on this stage, you are a change maker, you are a guide. And in order for you to shine your beautiful, brilliant light, you need to be authentically happy and healthy from the inside out. And that's really what I am so passionate about. What a beautiful message. Authentically happy from the inside out. And this is a reoccurring theme with a lot of the work uh, that we have been discussing the past two days is that there's a inner game as much as there's an outer game. So with that, Megan, the floor is yours for the next few minutes for you to share your work with our audience. Floor is yours, Megan Nolan. Thank you so much. So how much do we love the days when you are feeling just lit up and on fire and ready to take on the world? Let me know in the chat if that's your favorite kind of day. Yes, I hope it is because that's definitely my favorite kind of day as well. And I know that that is maybe our favorite day, but there's going to be other days when we find ourselves in that questioning, that doubtful moment of, is this ever going to work? Am I ever going to figure this out? Ah, wondering what's happening. And I know I've definitely been in that moment. And maybe there's some of you that have as well. And if you have, I'm so proud of you for continuing on. And if you haven't, then keep listening because we want to make sure that you don't have to experience that. Or maybe you know somebody who's in that moment. So a few years ago, I found myself in that moment, really struggling, feeling like I was pouring everything I had into my business, into my life, and it was just kind of pouring out the bottom. And I found myself just staring off into space, out the window over there, and watching this leaf that was just caught on a spider web, just spinning in circles. And I thought to myself, that's exactly what I feel like. I feel like I'm going in every different direction, but I'm not getting anywhere. And I just really didn't know what to do. And I asked for guidance, I asked for help, and thankfully I received that. And I believe that we can ask for that guidance, ask for that help. And I know that many of you here believe that as well. And so please let me know in the chat if that's something that you do on a regular basis. I've loved listening to all the other speakers, how we lean in and we can ask for that inner guidance from that inner knowing. And so really been a moment to be able to step back and recognize we have that ability to connect to your higher power, whatever that is. And for me, what I recognized in that moment was that I had lost sight of my desire. I had gotten so far out of my routine that I had no routine anymore. And I recognized that if I continued along that path, it would just feel harder and harder. And that's not the way we want it, right? Don't you want it to feel light and easy and fun? Give me a yes in the chat or wave at me. I'd love to see it because I know that that's what we all want. And that's what I want for you. We all have the power to tap in, Janet says. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. And so what I recognized was that in order for me to truly activate the elevated emotion of my, my desire, then I needed to take a step back and connect to that. So I'd love to know now, what is the emotion of your desire? What is that elevated emotional state? Because I can bet that it is not frazzled and frantic and blah, all of that. I can bet that it's more along the lines of joy and playfulness and creativity and love and gratitude to our last panel's point. Let me know in the chat what the elevated emotion of your desire is, because as Napoleon Hill so beautifully said in the book, it is so important for you to be wholeheartedly committed to that desire and cut off any other way of being. Because Albert Einstein said, everything is energy and that's all there is to it. Match the frequency of the reality you desire and it cannot help but be yours. This is not philosophy. This is physics, he said. And so what is the frequency of your desire? Yes, passion projects, creativity, love it, joy, passion, gratitude, love it. Thank you. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Absolutely. So I realized that 
in that moment when I was stuck in the struggle and those lower vibration emotions that can sometimes happen to us, right? Because as much as we know it's important to step back into that energized, uplifted frequency, sometimes it's not the way we are. And we want to be authentic, but we want to have tools to get back into that flow, right? We all love to be in that flow state that so many of the speakers have been speaking about. And so what I recognized was it's very important for you to have tools to truly begin to embody your intention, to show up from that place of alignment every day and go back into that sensation of feeling free. Yes, everything is energy, passion, gratitude, absolutely. So going back into that, because it's really easy, hands up if you've you know, recognize this. It's really easy for you to get into that hustle, hustle, go, 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 got to get it done, blah, 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 that frantic energy. So really learning how to strategically press pause, press pause, connect back into the present moment. And do you know what the most powerful way to do that is? I'll tell you. And it's a lot more simple than you might think. Anybody want to guess what that is? I know there's a bit of a delay, so let's all, in the meantime, take a big deep breath. <sighs> and I hope that that gave you a clue. <laughs> Your breath is literally the most powerful tool for you to come back into the moment, to have that peaceful pause. Yes, pressing pause, coming back into the alignment of the present moment, exactly. And that allows you to connect to who you are being. Because when we wholeheartedly commit to that and cut off every other way of being, huh, as Einstein said, when you align to that frequency, it cannot help but be your reality. So how can you align to that frequency right here, right now? So the power pause method has three pillars to it. So the first one you already did. So that's the breath. So do it again. Ah, yes, yes. Do it as often as you can, right? It's such a beautiful moment to connect to your breath. Ask yourself, who am I being right now? Who am I being right now? And how are you being right now? Because you get to decide, beautiful one. You get to decide how you respond to every situation. As Vic Victor Frankl said, between the stimulus and the response, there is a pause. And in that pause is your power to respond. And in your response is your freedom and your growth. Let that sink in for a moment because, whew, that is liberating, right? That is liberating when you realize and remember how powerful you are. So we've talked about the breath. We've talked about who you are being, aligning to that frequency, the elevated emotion, creating that clear intention. So say it with me now. Say, I am the embodiment of my desire. Say it. Drop it in the chat. Be the embodiment of your desire right here, right now, beautiful friends, because that is your ability to do right here, right now. So I'd love to see that in the chat. And then finally, ask yourself, what can I do right now to come back into balance? What do I need to come back into balance? Because if you are like many people, you spend a fair amount of time every day sitting down. And you might even be sitting right now. I'm sitting right now. I don't really sit very often, but I'm sitting right now. So if you are like one of the people that spends between eight and 10 hours every day, sitting and working on a computer, maybe what you need is to get up and move a little bit more because the modern reality tale of all the sitting we do, I call it sleeping booty and the seven sneaky symptoms of sitting too much. <laughs> and yes, you heard correct, sleeping booty. Technically, it's called gluteal amnesia if you want to get fancy, but yes, you get the idea. So the sneaky symptoms come along and you might recognize those slouchy and droopy and cranky but all of them pull you out of that frequency. So what can you do to move back into that full embodiment of your true essence, your authentic divine essence? You get to decide. So let's do that together right now. Take a big deep breath and exhale. <sighs> Say it to yourself. What is your intention for today? What is your decision for today? As Christoph so beautifully said. Say it to yourself, drop it in the chat, and remember that you have the ability to step back into that every day because your beautiful light, your beautiful brilliance is needed now more than ever. And the fact that you're here this weekend and you're spending your weekend with us, 
I am so proud of you and gold stars to you because that is absolutely beautiful because that means you are on a mission. You are on a mission to create change. You are on a mission to really show up so fully and vibrantly in your life. And I am so excited that all of you are here and I'm loving the comments. Yes, yes, yes. You are the embodiment of your desire. What can you do to fully express yourself right here, right now? So that is what I wanted to share with you today. And remember that you can press pause anytime to realign with the frequency of your desire, to truly step into that embodiment right here, right now, so that you can align with that frequency and bring that beautiful big vision desire to life with more ease and flow. Thank you so much. And it's great wow, to be thank you for that, Megan. That was really powerful. The folks in the virtual auditorium are all expressing how powerful that was. And that was, uh, no pun intended, that was a breath of fresh air. So thank <laughs> you for that, Megan. Let's go ahead and bring Carissa back on with us. And Megan, we appreciate you, we honor you, and we will be inviting you back for future events. Thank you so much for that. Thank you so much. Thank you, Megan. That was powerful, Carissa. 